guys, what's up? My name is Bijan and this is my 2018 Ram 2500 and I wanted to talk about my latest upgrade that I've done and that is installing a set of SV4 LED headlight bulbs in the TYC projectors that I already previously installed on this truck. And the reason for doing so is that the TYC projectors are cool, however the halogen bulbs that come in them make it literally impossible for you to see anything while you're driving. They do have a pretty crisp, clear cutoff line and I do enjoy the beam pattern of these halogen projectors, but they're just not enough for me driving at night. And I can't see anything. That's why I've installed so many other lights to supplement my headlights. And I don't drive with the other lights on, but there are times where I do have to turn them on because I literally cannot see anything. So I reached out to Headlight Revolution and they sent me a care package of these SV4 LED headlight bulbs, as well as anti-flicker modules, extended dust cover boots, for the back of the headlight so that way I can fit the SV4s with the big fan that it has as well as all the wiring and different power modules that come with it. And the first time that I took the headlights out of the truck, put these LED bulbs in there, I accidentally clocked the LED chips wrong. So the entire LED bulb assembly was clocked improperly and then reinstalled in the truck. So I took it out and it looked just like this. And I was looking at it compared to the halogens, and I was like, okay, first there has to be something wrong, but maybe everybody was right. LEDs are not the hype that everybody says that they are. Their cutoff line is terrible, and I was just getting out my Amazon accounts ready to bag on all the LEDs on there. And then I realized, okay, you know what? Something must be wrong. So the next day, someone messaged me and said, hey, are you sure that your LED chips were at nine and three? I was like, yeah, I'm sure. That's the most basic thing, is just making sure that the chips are right. That's the only thing you have to do. And I watched back the footage and I had them at 12 and six. I had the entire LED assembly at nine and three, but the chips were the wrong orientation. So I messed up. But then again, I pulled off the stock headlights that I just put the halogens back in, pulled everything back off the truck and went back to the workbench, reinstalled the bulbs this time, clocked the right way. Time and back in really quick. These screws are what hold this plate together. The tighter these screws are and the less loose they become over time, the tighter the headlight bulb will stay in here. Also, the tighter that it'll uh, just clamp down on it. So I'm adding some thread locker to it. It'll uh, help keep the bulb set. Here's my wiring if you want to take notes. Low beam plug, LED headlight. This comes through out. And that's all she wrote. I'm just gonna set this back, bolt it on, and then go throw it on the truck. So I wasn't gonna have any issues. And I brought them back out to the truck, installed them with the grill still off, just in case there was any errors that I made. I went to the local parking garage, and I looked at them, and I was like, okay, this is a cutoff line that I can get down with. Someone messaged me and was like, hey, are you sure they were at nine and three? And I was like, yeah, the bulb was at 93, but the chips were not at nine and three. So this is what it looks like clocked correctly. And this is a heck of a lot better. If you saw the way that the chips were facing today, where they were at nine and three, off shooting off to the sides and the bulb was straight up and down, that is the correct orientation. Now, this is a significant upgrade versus what we were working with yesterday. This is a super crisp cutoff line and I should have noticed something was up. I can't wait to see it at night and how it's gonna look. But again, a huge upgrade over what it was looking like last night. This looks really good. It looks brighter than what my halogens look like. The cutoff line is perfect and I can still adjust the headlight and make it exactly where I want it to be. So super stoked, very happy. I took it out later that night, got it all set up to the point where I was really happy with how the cutoff line looked and how the brightness of the the actual LED bulbs themselves are. And I started driving with it and I realized that, oh my gosh, for LED bulbs, 
this is a significant upgrade. I'm not gonna say it's two times better than what I had, but in terms of lumens, I'll put it up somewhere what the actual lumen rating is difference wise, but it is a pretty significant upgrade. I can definitely tell just while driving on a pretty you know, overcast night where the sky is lit and it's not too dark, I can already tell the difference. Here's the beam pattern on the SV4s now that we got them oriented the right way. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the left side up just a tiny bit and match it on the right. They look so nice. Cut off is pretty nice. I don't think it gets much better than that. So I am pleasantly surprised. Let me go ahead and adjust the left side. That looks pretty good. Let's back it off a tiny bit. Right there. Yeah, let's give that a test shot. I haven't been able to drive around with the SV4s installed for too long, but I will say as of right now, I'm pretty surprised at just the difference that they're making. And I definitely see myself moving further down the chain and trying out some different LED low beam bulbs and maybe comparing these SV4s to the GTR Ultra 2s and comparing those to a set of Morimoto's and Alpha Rex's. Do I think that an LED bulb is just as bright as switching entire headlamp assemblies to something like maybe the Alpha Rex Lux series, which is just rebranded Chinese stuff, or the Morimoto's or the GTR carbide lights that are available for these ram 15 25 and 3500s i definitely don't think so for the price 250 60 bucks versus 1200 1600 yeah it, it's definitely worth it so you're not spending that much money into your truck and you're getting a good amount of performance for it so that's one thing to keep in mind however i'll continue to use these sv4s and expect me to have an updated review on them in the future but for now i'm just going to keep driving with them really enjoying them and I got some more updates coming on the entire truck build, but up next, we're gonna install some of the GTR uh, reverse lights and see how bright those are compared to just regular cheapo Amazon LED reverse lights. So stay tuned for that video coming up soon, and until then, keep on camping, and I'll see you guys in the next one. how they look driving at night so far so good I'm pretty happy with this I can definitely tell it's an upgrade for sure I see longer distance as well as a little bit better close-up but it's not too distracting <laughs> 